In this video we're going to talk about additional effects that we can get with lights. We're gonna see what IES lights are and how we can get this effect here that you can see in the background. We also gonna talk about the mesh light which is the final light that we will see here and then we finished all the lights that we have in V-Ray. So here you can see that uh, I have created a really low quality render. You can tell that by the noise, but this is to show you real quick what we are gonna see in this video. So we can also create like a neon sign here, neon text, and also use an image to create a kind of a TV screen or a emissive panel using the emissive material. And also how to project images, kind of like a movie projector and also how to get different effects here, like these blinds effects. And finally, we will also introduce a new really important tool. I think it's one of the best tool ever made here in V-Ray, which is the light mix. Now, thanks to the light mix, we can manage all the lights without always re-rendering or without doing interactive rendering. So we can just render all the different lights in different channels and then we can manage them one by one. So you can see here I can turn everything off one by one. I can turn everything off at once by clicking all and then I can manipulate and manage all the different lights separated from the other. So this is a really interesting tool here because I can actually study and see all the different effects isolated or in combination with other lights. I can change the intensity, I can change the color. For example, this is my key light used in the three-point lighting system. And if I decide that I want to change the color, like the temperature a little bit, I can do this real quick just by going here and changing the color. Or I can maybe assign a totally different color, I can do that right away and see the effects. So I think this is one of the best tool ever because it's gonna save you a lot of times. These are also some blinds that you can get with a rectangle light and using a really high directionality. Okay, so we're gonna go through through all this stuff uh, one by one, but let's get started with some references. Now for the 3D model, we already saw how to get it and where to get it. And that is renderpeople.com. You go to free models. You can see here, these are the free models that you can download. These are completely free. And this is the model that we are using here. And this is, uh, you will find also a link in the description. So that you can use it and you can also support us if you want to buy 3D models, of course. Then we're gonna use these images here. So this is a frame from a movie which is called, well, you can go here to the source and it's called pri pri Private Snafu and it's uh, something with public domain, so you can use it. You can use any frame, I guess, and or the whole video if you want. So you can get it from here. And also, I'm gonna use this image, which is also public domain, and it's from the CC search, so the Creative Commons search. Okay, so you can find it yourself. It's a screen a screenshot from a, a TV series, probably. Okay, now I'm gonna hide this panel for the moment and let's get started. So let's start with the first effect that I want to show you, which are these kind of blinds. And this, you can get that effect by using a simple rectangle light like this. Okay, so you, with, the, with the tool here that you have, you can actually point the this light in the position that you want. So if you want to illuminate, for example, just the eyes of this character, 
you can do that just like in uh, noir movies you can get those really particular effects now you can see here that I created at first one single blind and then I've copied that many times just as we did before with other lights so when you copy when you start with one light let me show you here so let me delete these other blinds okay so I'm just gonna use one and turn everything off so you're gonna have this effect which is again like noir movies when the light was concentrated into a particular part of the subject and you can get that just by working with the size the intensity but especially with directionality now directionality is pretty important and it's the parameter that is gonna give you a really concentrated beam of light or else something very diffuse so if I decrease this the same light is gonna be diffused and I'm, I'm not seeing that anymore but if I increase the value and increase it more and more I will get more sharp shadows and also a more concentrated beam if you do this one it's gonna be really defined really neat okay but I don't like that I want, just want to give a little bit of blurriness to the edges so I'm gonna put 0 9 here to directionality so I will get that nice blurred effect oh maybe it's too blurred so I guess it's gonna be 0 0.99 and this should do the trick okay there you go now when you want to create more you just need to copy this so you select one and do copy in Rhino and when you create multiple copies of these these are gonna be inside the same asset in the asset editor which is gonna be this one here so when you change one you change all the others so let's change this and give it like a another color and there you go so you have multiple lights with the same effect and with the same color so you can manage all those copies just by using this one here now I also use layers and in this case I've created a layer called blinds and I will turn it off because it's gonna be too many of these lights in the scene so for example here I can select all of these other lights